So I've worked on Batten's disease for more than 20 years. So uh, in terms of knowing the disease and, and uh, knowing uh, the whole history and the um, work that's been done over years, uh, obviously I'm well placed. Batten's disease is a, a really devastating disease. Um, it's, it's actually a group of diseases. So it strikes at different ages. The most common type, uh, certainly in the UK um, and probably across the world, hits children between the ages of 6 and 10 and they start to suffer from um, uh, a loss of vision, visual failure, that's usually what's first noticed and, and this is caused by cells in their brain dying and then as the time progresses other things are affected so they start developing seizures and they start to lose um, the ability to walk and talk properly and uh, just deteriorate and deteriorate. It's an autosomal recessive disease so if a child in the family is already diagnosed uh, another child would have a one in four chance of uh, having the same disease. Okay, so there's absolutely no treatment to cure the disease at all so um, the treatments effectively are palliative care treatments so to reduce the number of seizures to make the children more comfortable. The project is going to use a simple cell model of the disease, um, a yeast cell model and I'm going to use it for the most common type and also another type, the severest type of Batten disease and I'm going to take these yeast cells, use them to screen uh, thousands and thousands of, of um, compounds, drugs that are uh, already known uh, and other small molecules and see which ones can rescue the disease in these yeast. Um, it's something we've already tried and we know it works, we've got some, uh, some hits already. The best hits we're we'll then going to test in the zebrafish model for the disease and that, we can do that very quickly to see whether, um, whether they work. We'll also check them against mammalian cell models as well and see whether they rescue some of the problems those cells have. Uh, if the research is successful I hope uh, there's, there's two outcomes. One is that there may be a drug or more than one drug that halts any progression of the disease so a child who perhaps is already affected we can stop the disease getting uh, any worse and then the, the second option which is obviously what we, we hope for um, eventually is to actually be able to introduce um, a drug treatment before the disease has even started in a child so that it actually prevents the disease happening and, and we're offsetting any problems that that child might have. That's, that's what we really want.